But just a quick update on some of the things that are going to be happening on the channel. First off, thank you for all the commentary, especially with this build and all the other videos. I'm trying in my spare time to answer every question. I do have limited time, so sometimes what I do is direct you over to garagepilots.com, so please check that out. And if I can't answer your question on YouTube, either myself or someone will definitely be able to help you over on Garage Pilots. Just a few items that I want to touch base on in some upcoming videos. I was able to maiden this 3D printed FPV H-Quad over the weekend. Flew really well, I was impressed. Now, I mentioned that I haven't fully designed the camera tray yet and still working on some of the battery system. Now the battery is powering both the FPV system and the motors. I was able to maiden get good video. There was some commentary on interference from the FPD system and the camera and Zuki and a few others were talking about a built-in LC filter that this has. The video quality looked great with no interference and I'll be posting that video in the next couple days. Now I've already introduced you guys to this frame from Danny at Quad Lugs and as part of this build Danny sent me this Q-Brain ESC. I kind of broke down what I felt were some of the pros and cons but some of you pointed out there's probably a lot of EM interference coming off of this. So if I were to mount at the bottom, put the top plate on with the APM, there's going to be a lot of interference on that board. So we'll definitely do some testing. I'm still possibly leaning towards using an ESC mounted to each arm and kind of keeping that separate from the flight controller, which sits here in the middle. And while doing that video, Luke Aventino, he's a Garage Pilots member and he's from HoverAllRC.com actually sent me a 4-in-1 Emax ESC. Now this is a little different than the Q-Brain and this Emax actually has the Simon K firmware. Now you'll notice it's, it's quite a bit bigger so it's generally going to be for your bigger builds but in an upcoming video I'll definitely do a comparison of these two. But as I mentioned Luke from HoverAllRC.com is based out of Canada. I'll post a link below but definitely check out his page related to the process that he's been going to design a canopy for one of his quads. It's pretty amazing. He starts with a 3D printed design all the way to a mold and I'll post the link below. You guys check it out. It's pretty awesome. And earlier this week I received a message from Chris at Platinum Hobbies. He's a Garage Pilots member and he just launched his online store PlatinumHobbies.com. They carry all sorts of multi-rotor kits to carry the S800, the S1000 from DJI as well as a bunch of other parts. So I mentioned Chris, Luke, Danny, all of these guys because they're guys like you and me that have seen a need and they've gone out there to create a site that hopefully uh, fills that void. Okay last item. So I'm not sure whether or not you're aware but Garage Pilots does have a forum for new and used items, items for trade. And I've seen quite a few interesting products go up there this week. There's a GoPro Hero 2, Hero 3, and a DJI F550. So definitely keep that bookmarked, check back. I just wanted to share that update with you, some things that are up and coming. Thanks again for following along, and always your suggestions and feedback are welcome. Until next time, thanks for watching.